activation. Oh yes. Which sounds like we leveled again. Music to my ears. Pathfinder, you seem well. I am, thank you. I'm fine with Tan. Tan and I are fine. We're all doing quite well here. Thank you. That is good to hear. This journey can't have been easy. Speaking of which, we know you defied us. You went for Meridian in direct violation of initiative orders. I did. Even though our reasons were quite clear. Yeah. Yet, you were correct, Ryder. We should have trusted your instincts. Uh, say say, you say that again. Time and again, that you deserve the title of Pathfinder. Could you could you repeat that? I have that? never been so glad to be wrong. Thank you. I appreciate your encouragement and your candor. I am told there are still obstacles to reaching Meridian. The initiative stands ready to provide whatever support you need. Pathfinder, Beautiful. if you're done with your call to the Nexus, I'd like to talk to you. I think I've found a way for us to find Meridian. All right. You think you found a way for us to find Meridian? I'm very excited. Cool. Talk to Subi. You seem tired. Pulled an all-nighter processing the data we received from the Remnant City. It's a lot. Don't push yourself too hard. Someone's gonna keep me pretty. Mm. Don't know if anyone has anything new to say. Pathfinder, thought you might be callow. I asked him for nav data. Data for what? Mapping the Scourge. Now we know it's a weapon, I hate it more. Designed to isolate, lingers well after the war. I know what that is, it's a minefield. You saw minefields in crisis response? A lot of wounded? That was awful, sure. But the long term is worse. Minefields hobble the whole population, make normal life impossible. Mark this. The Ket are bad, but whoever deployed the Scourge, there's some motherfuckers. <laughs> Track, good job out there, buddy. It's not like being a created species really means anything. The Angara are the Angara. They are. What matters in the end is that they exist. I agree. We can talk more later. Sure. Poor Jal, I feel like he needs I need to go chat with him. He keeps finding out more and more things about his race. Home's not built for it. The recoil will blow out all our fancy windows. What defenses does the ship have? Kinetic barriers to handle space debris, the stealth drive, and us. Gil! Oh, I missed you, Gil. I missed your talks. Hi. 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 Wanna get out of here? Now? Yes. Your place. Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I like that look on his face. <laughs> this is good. Come here. There's just something I need to say first. Okay. Are you pregnant? Are you having... <laughs> I'm serious about you, Ryder. And I want to do this right. I want absolute trust. <laughs> I've never had that in a relationship. Honestly, I'm usually drawn to the danger of not having that. But with you, here... Oh, I really, I really enjoy Gil's romance in the sense that um, he's he's pretty much sort of a romance that I would see with with Joker, which actually is great because I I liked the idea of having a romance with Joker as the guy on the ship who always likes to joke around. Makes it seem like nothing can, like, really bring him down. Um, but there's actually a little bit of insecurity within. And um, Gil kind of has 
has pieces of that, which I really like a lot. And he, it feels like, you know, when you get to the point where he wants to really commit to a relationship and trust in a relationship, it feels very rewarding. Um, since it's, since it seems like achieving that with him is very difficult and requires a lot of patience. Um, You want to feel safe? Me too? That's what it's about. We should always know we have each other's back. That we can be completely real with each other. So... Even though we're both... Worked up here... We don't have to go too far. We can take it however you want. Fast... Slow, now, later. I think, I think that, I think that they can take the next step. I think they can take the next step. I think Skylar's ready. I trust you, Gil. And I want you. Oh, good. Mm. Mm. Oh. They, they look very cute together, in my opinion. And they have the same hair. That actually is really cute, that they have the same hair. Skylar's a little bit better, because it's orange, but... You're making me a better man, Ryder. So, is it too early to use the L word? That was super, that was super sweet, the little tiny peck on his forehead that Skylar gave to Gil. I like that, I like that small detail. That was really cute. That's really good. Not for me. I love you, Gil. I love you too, Ryder. Aww. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, shucks! Oh, shucks! That was sweet. I like that. I like that. That was very well done, in my opinion. Oh. I'm in engineering. <sighs> uh, dinner tonight. Fine green and roast fresh vegetables. The roast will be in the galley oven, mo oven most of the day. Don't open the door to check on it. Drac. Comments. When will this be ready? Smells dreamy, PB. I said don't touch it. The juices have to settle properly. Drac. It tastes pretty good already, PB. Thieves get sandwiches. Drac. <laughs> lost and found. Callow soap opera OSDs? They'll stay lost unless he stops watching them at full volume while I'm trying to nap. Vetra. Comments. Dynasty of Stars. It's not a soap opera. It's a historic award-winning extranet drama. How many Turian dramas run for over 70 seasons? Salarian casts age out a lot faster than Turian ones, and ours are quieter. Vetra. Beautiful. Skylar's definitely in a happy mood. He's got some plus ones. Hey, Cora. How's it going? Ryder? You have any more war stories, or are you done? Any more commando war stories? That's all I can share, anyway. I miss them. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Oh, I'm kind of disappointed Cora didn't have anything else to say. Hey, Ryder. What are we going to do if Meridian isn't what we expect? What do you mean? What if it isn't where it's supposed to be? Or it doesn't work the way we think it does? Let's not worry about things we don't know yet. It's just we never really know what we're going to get with this remnant stuff. I've been going back and forth. Glee one second, worry the next. If it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Learn that the hard way. We still have to try. We still have to hope. You're right. Of course you're right. We didn't give up to the worst of it and we're not going to start now. Whatever happens, let's try to have fun doing it. Haven't we so far? Two galaxies worth. True. Vetra, I wanted to talk to see if you had anything else left to say. 
Probably not, because we just had a cutscene. We always seem to be so close, but never close enough. You mean the Remnant City? Meridian? I was so sure we'd reached the end. I had a bottle of Drossix Blue ready to go. I'm frustrated too, but we're close. Every bit's progress. I know. I'll just put that stuff back on the shelf. For later. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. All right. Dr. Lexi, I don't think you had anything new to say, correct? Oh, you do? It's my night off. Okay. Just making the rounds. Just checking in. What are you reading? Harry's latest report on Sarah. She's restless, but on the mend. So you're not really taking the night off. <laughs> <laughs> Work-life balance has never been my strong suit. You're in a new galaxy. Perfect time to change old habits. Hmm. If only it were that simple. How do you do it? Be both you and the Pathfinder. Work is work, life is life. I try not to mix the two. What about Gil? Well, there are exceptions to every rule. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Pathfinder, you have new email. Yes. Read email from Drac. Oh. Email terminal. Fun and games. Writer from Drac. Hey kid, you ever play Fire Breathing Thresher Malls of Doom? Heck of a game. Vetra somehow scared me up a copy. Meet me at Vortex and we'll play. Oh, okay. Getting back to normal. To Ryder from Carrie to Vessa. Hello, Ryder. Well, things seem more settled. I've been outside a few times and the threatening messages are tapering off. Would you like to talk? I'd be nice to see you. And hear about this remnant city? Sure. Cities and gardens. To Ryder from Cora. That remnant city got me thinking about my rose garden. Preparing the ground, planting for the future, and all that. So the Jardan made the Gangara. But what's the end goal? Were they part of some grand plan? Preparing the ground for something else? Wonder if the Jardin had bigger plans for the cluster, and where we'd, we'd fit in. Cora. I appreciate the support. To Air, addressing not found, forwarding to Pathfinder Rider from Zoe Walsberg. Hi, Callow. I'm trying the new auto address system you suggested. Hope it got to your last name I got your last name right. I wanted to say something. Thank you doesn't cover what it means to have someone share the burden. I'm tracking every credit, though. Prepare yourself for a windfall later. Fly safe, Zoe. Oops, don't worry about this, Ryder. I'll take care of it. Callow. Okay, not going to gush. To Ryder from Gil. Who am I kidding? Coming to Andromeda was the best thing I've ever done. Not because I'm doing work and, and part of a team I can be proud of. Not because I'm getting to test and push myself in ways I never could have back home. And not because I'm becoming a virtuoso poet. It's because I met you. You're my true purpose, Ryder. Oh. Not to mention, if I hadn't come along, I'd be dead for at least 550 years by now. Well, there's that. Yours. Don't you doubt it for a second, Gil. Oh, that's so sweet! Belief is weird. I don't talk about stuff like this because my mouth's an idiot, but we're in weird space now. The Jardin made a people. Back in the Milky Way, we were knocking on the door of stable clones, but that's different. The bits are already there. It's snapped together. So I go down this hole about making life, and then I start thinking about Sam. Your dad made a kind of life. This amazing technical achievement that I, that I look at it just, I can't even really get the edges of it. And it's in your head. That's pretty special. Like I need another reason to think Pathfinder is something different here. I don't know the point of this. Sometimes you just write, right? Costa. Liam has included a list of media themed to creation. Genres include theological talk, scientific papers on technological integration, and a 1995 vid about AI's choice of a footwear? Ket facts. To Ryder from Lexi. Ryder, I've started my thesis on Ket anatomy and thought you would enjoy something, some of the interesting facts I've discovered. Ket have 332 bones in their body. For comparison, human adults have 206. Ket have no reproductive organs. Oh, okay. Similar to Turians and Quarians, Ket are digitigrades. The bone-like armor that covers their bodies are actual bones. The cat have double the amount of taste buds as the average human. Lexi, that is interesting. Arrests are underway. Ryder, I thought you'd like to know we caught Rand Lan or Lantan Rel as he was going by, by on Kadara. 
Your activities caused a panic amongst the other conspirators, it seems. We've already caught Oben Keld and Noist Hearn. It's only a matter of time until we persuade them or that scumbag Aiden to give up the others. Well, I say we. I'm writing for this from my hospital bed post-surgery, holding the dart they yanked out of me. The doctor seemed quite perturbed by it all. Once this medication wears off, I look forward to finding out what actual peace and quiet is. Unless the Ark Pachero authorities need a counterterrorism consultant, I suppose. Regards, Major Salen Varnes, STG Rhett. Movie night plans. We still haven't gotten this movie night. To Ryder from Lexi. Ryder, Liam's movie night seems to be catching everyone's interest, especially Jack and PB. They're, well, perhaps we should talk. We might head off a medical emergency before it happens. Um, so when you want me to speak to... Lexi again? Did you want to talk to me again, Lexi, or did we already have our talk? I hear Liam's planning to show some vids. If our duties ever give us time. Explains why Drac and PB are distilling something unsavory. Screw up the measurements and bathtub hooch can leave you blind, or worse. We can do better. Better how? An Asari liquor called Acantha. They used to run these wonderful black and white ads. There might be a bottle on the Nexus. I got another quest. It wouldn't be too expensive, I'm sure. Let me know if you find it. Okay. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Everybody is... Everybody is preparing for this movie night, which we probably are not going to get to, just my luck, until the end. Extremely quick thinking for a human. You saw the perfect drop zone just in time. Well, we humans get lucky sometimes. I'm glad to have that kind of luck on my flight deck. I'm still trying to make sense of everything we learned at the Remnant City. I can't believe the Angara are... designed. What are the implications? That there's so much we don't know. It's humbling. Well, I came here for mysteries, right? Helios is more and more interesting every minute. Anything you want to talk about before we head back into it? Anything about Meridian? So what's your take? Is this Meridian what we think it is? Everything we've seen, each remnant system we've uncovered, is connected to everything else. The bots, the monoliths, the vaults. It stands to reason that activating Meridian will connect the entire network and rekindle terraforming across the cluster. So you think we're doing the right thing? Well, yeah. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. I think I, I definitely need to talk to Jal. Definitely must talk to Jal. Jal's over here, I think. I figured he did Hello, something. Ryder. Have you come to see if I'm finally broken? Jal. To see what discovering that my people were invented has done to me. Just here if you need to talk. I can't imagine what you're feeling. I've been staring out the window, trying to figure that out. That's new. True. Angara are usually very free with our feelings. Not talking about all Angara. I'm talking about you. I'm... numb. I'm... In awe, there's a peace in knowing that though the universe is beyond your understanding, it doesn't need your understanding to function. That's true. That you may even have a hidden destiny. Does it matter? Your people aren't shackled to this new discovery. I agree. We don't owe anything to the Jardan. Our destiny is our own. I'm not broken, Ryder. I'm excited. Oh, good. The Angara were created for a purpose. We were given vaults and golden worlds. All these advanced tools. And there is nothing the Ket can do about it. The future holds more for the Angara than a never-ending war on the Ket. Much more. For the Angara? Hell, for all of us. These are amazing, crazy days. <laughs> really crazy. Really amazing. It doesn't matter if we were created by a god, 
reborn from our ancestors, or exist as the dream of an AI superpower. Oh. This discovery changes nothing, except ourselves. And that's everything. <laughs> the chemistry between these two are is really cool. I'm definitely excited to see what a Jal romance is going to be like with a right with Ryder, with Scott Ryder especially. Do you have time to talk further? Apparently, you got nothing else later, to talk Jal. about. New. No. Stay strong and clear. And clear. All right, now let's go talk to Kahlo and Supi. Kahlo, good job over there, by the way. What can I do for you? I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Actually, it looked like he had more stories about the What Tempest. can I do for you? Tell me something else about the ship. O'Connell, our systems designer, was running a power distribution model. How power moves through the ship. But he forgot to lock his terminal and we, um, <laughs> added a few embellishments. For two days, poor O'Connell was convinced that turning on all the bathroom lights would overload the engine core. I think you already said that. I'll let you concentrate. Okay. You know where I'll be. Okay. Let's talk, Suvi. Pathfinder. Just the person I wanted to see. The person. Meridian. Set on a path its creators, disrupted by the scourge, now lost. An unmanned ship is at the mercy of ocean currents. Now, think of Meridian as the ship and the scourge as the ocean. If we can somehow predict the currents and track them, we could figure out where the ocean's taken the ship. That's genius. The scourge is the sea, moving objects around. It's not a precise analogy, of course. But it illustrates the point. Dr. Anwar's suggestion may indeed be our best chance at finding Meridian. Mm -hmm. The more we know about the Scourge, the better we can predict how it affects the things it comes in contact with. We'll need better data. Probes for the Scourge and Garen star charts. The Initiative made charts of Helios from the Milky Way 600 years back. Perfect baseline. I can compare that to Helios at present. It'll give us numbers, but one set won't be enough. Sam, what exactly do we need right now? Readings from within the Scourge itself, collected by probes planted at key points. Once enough data is collected, we'll need initiative resources for mining and analysis. Once that is done, I can build a predictive model that will recalculate Meridian's path. Okay. We have a plan. Now let's make it work. Everyone's counting on us. Let's bring them home. Cool. Let's do this. We have a plan. But first, we're going to the Nexus. See ya. Anomaly detected. Probes launched. This is one of the chosen data collection nav points. We should release a probe. Arrived at a scourge nav point appropriate for data collection. Spatial anomaly related to the scourge, dark energy discernible from gravitational and radiation effects, composition, ice, mineral, debris, element zero, unknown materials, energy emitted from this area appears weaker than expected. A probe deposited to the center of the formation may be used to collect data. Receiving scourge readings. Wow, okay. So these are all the these are all the um, systems that uh, we were trying to that we were clearing out before. Okay, so there is a purpose for all of these systems. Anomaly detected. Anomaly on sensors. Probes launched. Intense scourge activity is common in this area. Might be worth planting a probe.
The data collection probe is prepped whenever you're ready, Ryder. sensors. Probes launched. Intense scourge activity is common in this area. Might be worth planting a probe. Here we go. The data collection probe is prepped whenever you're ready, Ryder. There we go. We got three, right? That's all we needed. Speak to the crew about scourge resource research. Alright, but first we need to get to the Nexus to get some s other last minute side quest things. Initiative Arms Outlaws. A major scandal surfaces implicating Nexus Brass. HNS has learned Nexus leaders quietly armed a group of outlaws calling themselves the Three Sabres. Shame on you, Addison. The group was contracted to fight for the initiative, but went rogue and turned their weapons on supply vessels and even Angara. Initiative Director Jaran Tan has denied all requests for comment. Ooh, we've got some Angaras in here. Alright, um... Movie night. Buy a sorry liquor on the Nexus. Wherever that is. Over there. Don't mind if I do. Citadel model. Nice. Akantha. A popular brand of Asari liquid renowned for its warm, smoky flavor and sweet aftertaste. That sounds good. Hello there. Hello. Um, Nakmore Drac, fire breathing thresher maws. Hi. Oh, Carrie Tavasti's over there. Sorry, Carrie, I gotta go play some ga video games first. Then I'll get to you. Hey, Drac. The others aren't here yet, but it shouldn't be long. The others? Cash and Vorn. If we're gonna teach you Krogan games, we're gonna need more Krogan. Vorn doesn't bug you as much as you pretend he does. Huh. Yeah, don't tell anyone. I like Vorn a He's lot. He's smart, real handy with plants. Kept the colony alive and going after we left the Nexus. Cash made a good choice there. Not that I had any say in the matter. Nope. So... Fire-breathing Thresher Maws of Doom. FTMD. Ah, that's right. Pretty basic game. First one Krogan kids usually play. I've seen vids, and I know Thresher Maws are damn huge, but fire-breathing Thresher Maws of Doom? That sounds like overkill. You'll see. It's great. Right, so, what are the rules? Kids game, remember? It's simple. Burn down all the other pieces on the map. You win. Wait. Burn down. As in, actual fire? Or metaphorical fire? <laughs> what do you think? Oh, boy. I'll load up the many flamethrowers when the others get here. Oh, uh, here? Well, at least the table is fireproof. I think. Yeah, just don't hit the drinks. Bartender will have a fit. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get to see any of that. Oh, they, I wanted to see that. I wanted to see it. Come on. Mass Effect. That would have been an awesome thing to witness. I want to see it. Speak to Carrie about the Remnant City. Alright.
She's over there, that's why I didn't see her. I talk to my family every day. Pathfinder. You're back. Yes. I'm sorry I yelled, but those colonists seem so betrayed by something I created. I want to finish the documentary, take a stand for what matters. But what is that? What's best for the initiative? Keeping people inspired or the truth. I would say keeping people inspired, but Skylar would say the truth. People deserve the truth. Today and a thousand years from now. Let's give it to them. Okay, have your Sam give me everything it recorded in that remnant city. I'll give them raw footage, uncompromising every challenge we need to overcome. Thanks, Ryder, for everything. You're welcome. Do we have another interview with her? Okay.